Hey, good afternoon. About 4.30, almost 4.28 to be precise. Pacific Standard Time here. Coming at you live from the Wolf Driver's Facebook live streaming channel. Wolf Driver coming at you live. And uh, I'm Wolf Diddy. I'm uh, Wolf Diddy here representing in behalf of the Wolf Driver uh, hosting some activity here on his streaming chat box coming up with these whatever it is that we're doing here and we're just playing some music in the background and jumping jamming into the today uh, unfortunately yesterday um, we had some technical difficulties and could not get on properly so we're back we're back and we have a ditty tonight whoop ditty uh, purebred tonight actually a uh, a Gordon setter Gordon setter Gordon Setter, and it would be about Gordy, the Gordon Setter. A little bit twisted. Gordy, the Gordon Setter. And um, that's our breed of the, the evening here, the afternoon, whatever you like. And uh, once again, uh, if you, I hope everything's well with everybody's pooch. You know, everything's working out. waiting to gather the uh, it's building an audience jumping and jamming here a little ditty I put together so jam just have fun Well, thank you, I am. I haven't seen you back here before. I'm good. Good to see you. you're the first one to comment today. So we're going to make up for some lost time being off yesterday, which is okay. You know, it's good to take a, uh, a breather anyway, especially if you're having problems. We've been lucky most of the time now with the streaming uh, staying streaming not freezing up on us so we're going to talk about Gordon now that's fading out here and as it does I'm going to go ahead and fade in some a little background meditation stuff with the guitar uh, just some background ambience uh, wolf Dreams is what the Wolf Driver calls these tracks. Wolf Dreams, where you can just kind of hang out like soundscapes and just relax. And even if you have your pooch with you, the pooch will probably like it. Something like that. Hello from Kosovo. Really? Lindy? Wow, that's, that's a, I don't speak German, thank you, I'm sorry. Uh, my stepmom does. I'm in California, she's in, in Alabama. And she's not on the show. I don't think, uh, I'd have to teach her how to do it. She's up there, uh, 90, 90 years old now. She could, she could do it. Julie, hello. Good to see you. We're just relaxing into the groove here this evening with uh, Wolf Driver Live here. A uh, little uh, hosting here by Wolf Diddy. Uh, just a silly little nickname. What we do in general, for once we started this back in the 1st of June or so, um, this all became possible to do to, for the love of dogs first and music second Wolf put those two things together in, in a way uh, that it, it's like just um, a different kind of Disneyland of dogs and love of dogs and music you know just adventures and stuff that most people have never seen uh, like myself and uh, learn stuff about our, our 
beautiful canines and our felines too. We've been talking about felines as well. So we're just having fun with that, you know, trying to have fun with that. And uh, looking at uh, one of the wolf pack here, because the wolf driver has four huskies. And most of you are privy to what this is about. If you're not, this, if you're new to what this crazy person here looking at you with this wolf, wolf husky shirt called the Wolf Driver. Hi from Texas, d -Light. Yeah, I, that's a re I'm good to see these people back. You know, not every day. You don't have to come every day. We try to do this every day, a little while, at least different times, late afternoon or into the evening. Depends on what's going on, how it feels, you know, where everybody might be, what they might be doing to see if they want to hang out live with us. Because if you're not, you can always come back and watch it on alldognetwork.com. Um, and I usually, just because for argument's sake, uh, Wolf dreams. get on here so that you can uh, see where where I say All Dog Network. You can now I'm gonna go on the show my on the place where we are right now live and be able to comment as you would. And uh, there we go. And remind. If uh, our watchers, our company here, wants to check out all the stuff we've done, and there it is, posted. Uh, uh, kind of self-explanatory. And so what you have to do is go around hunt and peck and just check it out. There's just videos and show, and these things we're doing now live are all posted from the past, all the different breeds that we've covered, anticipating that we're very, very many of them, hundreds and hundreds, and we're just getting started even after six months. And uh, then to go along with all this stuff, there's these musical ideas and lyrics have been put into musical um, form all kinds of different music uh, every genre there is just from the hard rock to soft classical and that's wolftunes.com all about the dogs mostly and um, inspirational stuff meditation stuff inspirational stuff Wolf to go along with the, the good for the human as well as the dog hi Debbie good to see you hello hello so it's Friday and um here we are, and we're going to talk about uh, the Gordon Setter. The Gordon Setter is our uh, breed here, and this guy, um, well, I'm going to try to get them in here. I've got a group of them here so we can see what they look like. Gordon Setter. Now... He's a beautiful guy and a setter at that. I'm going to pull these up separately because they're too uh, difficult to see, but that might be Gordy right there. Little Gordy. He's so sweet. You just look at him. You just want to love him. Gordy. The Gordon Setter. Beautiful. They're kind of bird dogs. Go, uh, go keep a track and bring back to you your, what you just uh, taken care of out of the sky there with your shotgun. Wolf dreams. There was a fellow that uh, I'll go over that here in a minute. Gordon Setter. Yeah. Um, pretty much. Uh, they uh, originated from this guy here in Scotland in the early 17th century. Black and tan setter became popular by Duke Alexander the Fourth of Gordon. So Gordon was a region there in the early 19th century in Scotland. Uh, they were used as bird dogs and having an outstanding sense of smell. The, the dogs would point toward the fallen bird, retrieve it, and bring it back to the hunter. Pretty hip. Wolf dreams. The Gordon had great stamina 
and could hunt in bad weather in both land and water, but was not as fast in comparison to the pointers and as a result started to lose popularity as hunters chose other breeds that were faster. Poor Gordon Setter. The Gordon Setter was one of the breeds that were used in the development of the Irish Setter. Um, the Gordon makes a good one-man shooting dog, one-man shooting dog. Gordon Setter is recognized with AKC in 1884, and some of their uh, talents include guarding, watchdog, hunting, tracking, pointing, and retrieving. Quite a collection of talent there. Just about everything you need for that kind of situation when you want to go get some and know where it is. Yeah. They do need the brisk walk exercise that they'll become uh, restless and difficult to manage. Uh, they're recommended, not recommended for a small apartment, you know, kind of deal. Relatively inactive indoors, so need to get outside with activity with a fenced yard, safety, if they're leash free to run, or, you know, a place where they're, they've got those dog runs at the parks and stuff in certain places where they're chain linked around where you can go in there and play frisbee, whatever the case. Let them sprint and stuff. Wolf dreams. Now, what that brings to mind for me is that uh, sometimes that's not an easy thing to do is find a spot where they can de- uh, run leash free just as fast as much as they want. Crazy. Run around in circles for all you care. Which is what the wolf driver indeed does with the wolf pack. Calls it free ranging. Gets out of these acreage and acreage of beautiful properties where there's nothing but grass and land and paths and stuff and it's all and they stay within those boundaries because they're so huge the boundaries are they're not going anywhere and uh, calls them back back and hooks them back up to those bike springers on these carts which runs them you know runs them for miles sometimes without even taking a break so I do that with the single bike springer with Buster, my dog, on the bike every day, <clears throat> which keeps him exercised as much as he needs to be exercised, as much as you want to do, you know. Um, I don't hurt him. I don't want to hurt him. I can tell when he's kind of done and what, you know, if you take him to the vet and they keep them overnight or something for a day, after daycare, those kind of places, you, they usually walk those dogs at least a total of a mile per day in maybe three walks so I use that as a guide at least a mile on that thing it takes like 10 minutes on a bike because you're averaging three to four or five miles an hour and it's a great way if you want a big dog and you don't have the time or facility to run out and find a dog park where that's going to be safe and clean you're not going to get attacked by the dogs even though they want to play and all that nonsense which I don't recommend. I did that with Buster for a few years when he was little and it messed, it's messed up. I don't want to go into it, you know. Even though he was playing, he got scarred, he got cut. It took a year to grow back. It's just stupid because of another dog, you know, sharp, playing, bigger than he was. Didn't mean any harm, didn't mean to do it. So I don't, I don't need those um, accidents and vet bills and infections and all that stitches so Gordon the setter he can run and get those birds so I'm going to play that ditty on Gordon right now and we're going to take a break on the uh, quiet stuff right here we're going to cut that put on uh, what we call Gordon Gordy the Gordon setter don't you know Gordy he's the Gordon setter Just 
shut down and he just may start barking. That's Gordy the Gordon. Gordon said it. Oh, Gordon. Gordon said Gordy the Gordon said Need lots of exercise and does it. He make you come high strung if he don't. So let him have plenty. It's so much better. But Gordy the Gordon said Gordy the Gordon said Yeah, Gordy, the Gordon Setter. There you have Gordy, the Gordon Setter. Little ditty about him. Um, beautiful, beautiful canine. Just, I mean, if you check that coat, the grooming on that, you know, it's just outstanding. Again, you fall in love with these, these little people here. My sister used to have an Irish Setter, but someone stole him when she let him out, Debbie says. Stolen, really. Wow. That's not good. <laughs> That's mean. I can't imagine that. That's very strange, I would think. To be an animal thief. Okay, well, we're doing good. We're going to go back and just uh, kind of cruise back to what we were listening to here. Just relax. And um, checking the Owl Dog Network right now. If I look at it and I look under um, uh, Adventures, if I go to the very top of that page and it says uh, across the top, and when you run your mouse on it, it turns green from black. Exclusive Adventures, Animal Insights. Uh, if, if any of you are not there, I have it open to me as a host. What all these shows are right here. If you see up here, you see exclusive adventures, animal insights, wolf tunes, live, just for fun hosts. And you click on host and you come over here and you have, there's me, but I mean, if I just click on host, there's a, there's all the host. Oh, there were. Right there. You can click on each of those and see different kinds of um, uh, shows and chats with different kinds of people with the doing different things from the dog yoga to the dog uh, training to the wolf news, hilarious stuff from Brit. This is all uh, posted. Just fun stuff to watch. It's almost like, you know, there's a bunch of mine. There's a yoga one right there with Kimberly and Mookie. And just to watch one of these, it tells you, you know, Doga. There's me again back on October 31st and so forth. Every day we read the next day. Most of these are posted within the next day. Wolf dreams. You can just scroll down, you see all my stuff we did all the music nights when we just got crazy and tried to sing songs even though we can't sing very well we don't care you know what I mean we're not concerned about you know perfection or what level of talent is involved with this activity with the dogs and music we just all we do is the best we can do with what we've got uh, understanding uh, what we're we're doing this for, and if it's about the dogs and music, it's it's kind of uh, just a fun what thing to do, you know. It's just an original, creative vibe musically as well. All this stuff is original, and the parodies that we've done on on uh, dog uh, lyrics from the Wolf Driver with ACDC album and a Fleetwood Mac parody deal and all the individual artists, R&B and rock and roll, what have you. It's all up there on Wolf Tunes. Um, it's just um, fun, it's crazy stuff to listen to. You know, you may not like all of it or any of it for that matter, but what, you may like some of it and you go, wow, that I like that. I, you know, you would, you're not going to expect what you hear most of the time 
on the way these were done. And what he's talking about with the dogs, of all dogs, loves all dogs, just, it's crazy. It just gets me uh, more, you know, uh, focused in on the, the real connection that you have with your dog that's beyond, you know, I mean, most of us have it. Maybe this is new for me, this, the level of, uh, you know, um, intimacy about the vibe and the mental, how you treat your dog, you know, and, and canines and kittens, you know, I, I, the connection to make it totally as right as you can make it as far as your relationship being right, Woof, healthy geez. and fun and right and loving. So that you strive for that. I mean, I keep striving for that. Um, so we talked about Gordon a little bit. I mean, uh, the Gordon Setter. I'll kind of wrap up on a little bit of things about him real quick while we're on it before we forget about it. I want to get back to what I talked about last night about uh, your discipline with your dog or the things that aren't working out for you or not working out. You're trying to correct them. Uh, interesting, very interesting results so far. Um, so all the setters need that exercise, that serious exercise. And health problems, generally healthy. There's some, uh, some are prone to that hip dysplasia, which we've and eye diseases uh, that we've talked about. The cataracts are prone to bloat, so should be fed two or three small meals rather than one big one. These guys. Uh, let's see. Their life expectancy is over 10, so 10 to 12 years or so. And average litter is six to eight puppies. And grooming is regular combing and brushing of the soft, flat, medium length. It's all, it's all that's required to keep in excellent condition. But check for burrs and tangles as well because it's thick in there. Give an extra care when uh, shedding its coat. You want to bathe or dry shampoo only when necessary. Trim the hair on the bottom of the feet to keep Oof, the nails geez. clipped. Keep the nails clipped as well. Average shedder. Yeah. So we see that the Duke Alexander the Fourth of Gordon is the one who kind of developed this breed. <clears throat> black and tan setter. The Gordon, a Gordon setter is only black and tan. So you know it's a Gordon. Gordy. The Gordon Setter. That's uh, that's him for this evening. I might play that ditty one more time. It may it doesn't bore you. It's only a minute and uh, a minute and thirty eight seconds. So good night, Debbie. See you tomorrow night. Hey from Atlanta. Love you. So real quick for those that are still here, I don't want to keep you too awfully long, but. Uh, We're going to do a few more things. Just talk about a few more things. Um, if it's important, you see there's Buster barking now. He's barking at something outside. So we've been working on that because he does that a lot. And it comes out of nowhere. So if you're trying to relax, you just quiet time. And all of a sudden, that, that bark just you hit the ceiling. So he'll jump down from wherever he's just totally asleep. He bumps and bark more than once sometimes Wolf dreams. so I said I gotta fix this I gotta figure out how to do this so I look it up and I see how they say to do it okay and I find this website of how to do it so I started doing it yesterday after I right after I looked it up the next time he barked in the house most of the time he wants to go out and me run and open the door and he runs out there and he runs on the side looks over the fence barking at whoever it is um so i figured well the thing is to not to let him out number one and get him to quit barking in the house to get out or to bark at whatever more than uh, it says like two or three barks then they need to be quiet dreams. so he doesn't like it because he knows what it means now i mean he, i've been saying it for a long time but now it's just you say the same thing over and over and he barks, he goes, no, quiet. From a distance, stand over him, 
whatever. So I started yesterday, like they say, hold their muzzle. Well, he'll let me hold his muzzle if I get a hold of it. He's not gonna do anything weird. And gently keep it not hard. And just say, quiet. I don't say no barking. I go, quiet. And hold it. If he starts to growl or bark or do his little whimper thing like he's gonna bark, you know how they do? I hold it and I say, quiet. Then I remove my hand and I say, quiet. Now you're supposed to give them a treat if they stay there and they're quiet. I'm not going to do that unless I have to. So, so far, he's lessened it. If he barks like right now and if I yell and they're quiet, most likely he will not bark again. Maybe once. And I'll say it again. It's starting to work. If you think about how simple that is, it's reactionary to a command. It's the same command. He hasn't, you haven't used it for anything else but that. Quiet. So, I started doing this exactly the way they said to do it. They uh, recommend a few other things, you know, like um, understanding why they went in the car and they're totally cool and they see a dog walking down the street, no matter if you're going 50 miles an hour, and they go ape shit, you know, they start to scratch on your side panel in the back and want to jump out the back window and get ferocious and start barking in the car and scare the crap out of you. That's a bad thing. I just tell Buster, I said, if you do that again, I'm going to turn around and go home. And I pull his harness down and make him sit, stay, be quiet. So if I see that coming, as I'm driving, I try to distract him before he can look and see it. Because I can see like a, like they got binoculars on compared to us. So I just wanted to share that, that when you find a way that you say, well, I need to call a trainer oh, and have them do it. Well, you know, if it became a case where it just nothing I did here worked at all and was even starting to work, that he just kept on. And no matter what I did, he would just, I couldn't grab him. And he supposed to grab, pull away, grab his muzzle so he doesn't bark. He just incessantly kept barking. But that's not what's happening. It's not that bad, but it's annoying when it just happens out of nowhere. So now... Instead of him immediately barking, I think he's starting to whimper more. You know, the whimper thing, like I want to go out. I'm looking out the window. He's He smells something. He started, instead of just barking, bark, 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 and drive you crazy so loud and it hurts. So something's working. And, uh, and so I just kind of keep doing the same thing over and over every time it happens. And if I start to do this, uh, I've got that train where I can get him to sit and not run out to the door if he thinks he's going to go out before I am. If somebody rings the bell or he smells something or he starts getting to like ticky-tocky like that looking out the window like he wants to go out where no one's even out there and if they are they've already passed. It's too late. I, I explained this yesterday because uh, a lot of people may have these problems in the facilities. You know? I mean... I just try to share that stuff because it's part of the, the things that are always a challenge when you love a dog, love your dog, and you have third, certain things they do that are wonderful as far as being very guarding and protective. I wouldn't have it any other way. But then in the middle of all that, there's a way to correct the things that are unnecessary, which is what he does because he's got this sniffer and vibe thing or the anything's around I don't it's not that it's harmful he's gonna you know these ladies with their baby buggies little babies no dogs with them same thing so I'm working on that training to share that it's all doable if you keep doing it and you don't yell at them use the commands and you show them by like do what you do Wolf it got really severe. They say you can use a scarf kind of a muzzle. So just a soft scarf you tie it around so it keeps their muzzle covered. And just uh, yeah, make them wear that for a while. But there's all kinds of things. So uh, this is one of them that I found that uh, just doing the command thing and standing over them and getting their attention like you normally give them any other command that they already know because they're trained. Uh, somewhat, you know, to sit, come, stay, whatever the case, lay down. It's all good. So, the Gordon Setter. Now, 
wolf dreams. Gordon Setter. <clears throat> Gordy. Gordy the Gordon Setter. Scotland. Gord's go. Gordy. Beautiful coat. Look at his tail. Scottish guitar there for Gordy the Gordon Setter it's neat to kind of fixate on a breed Wolf dreams. we've skipped several nights and done other things which is alright with me I guess it'd keep it less than so boring switch things up talk about other things that you may be interested in. hopefully Gordon Setter, Gordy. I'll play that uh, that ditty one more time. Uh, if you'd like to just check out about Gordon, the Gordy, the Gordon Setter. Don't you know Gordy? He's the Gordon Setter. That's Gordy, the Gordon Setter. You know he's distinguished both for his loyalty and obedience as Gordy. He's so polite, well, he's sweet, tempered, a devoted dog. There's Gordy, the Gordon Seven. He makes an enjoyable companion and is excellent with the little children. That's Gordy, the Gordon Seven. So slender, robust in structure. Gordy, the Gordon Seven, has a head, feet, and long muzzle. Such a pretty guy. Gordy the Gordon Setter. Yes, sir. That's what he is. So our little breed tonight, Gordon Setter. Gordy the Gordon Setter is what his name was. A little fictitious ditty about a real purebred canine, the Gordon Setter. Uh, it's Wolf Diddy here, coming to you live at the coming at you live via the Wolf Driver Network, Facebook. And um, we're going to meditate out of here. We're going to jump and jam out of here. Actually, that's what we're going to do. Uh, hope you all are well. Keep it going. Let's share. Get more people coming to see us. And uh, we're going to keep the breeds moving and the hybrids and you know all the information that we can share uh, for those um, dog lovers and music lovers. Go check out these websites I posted on the Whoop Tunes. Check out all those boxes and see where they go. And the videos and the parodies and the original material and the fun stuff about dogs and stuff. And see if you like any of it. Uh, turn your kids on to it. It's a whole nother thing. And uh, it could be just fun, like, you know, going to Disneyland for dogs or something. Don't know. So until then, I'm going to jump and jam right out of here as well. Okay. Wolf Diddy here for the Wolf Driver. On behalf of the Wolf Driver, coming at you live. Wolfdriver.com. Live streaming. The Wolf Diddy chat box. Wolf Diddy time. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow on uh, Saturday. Probably... Let's see what time. Early, Earlier than later, I hope. Makes it easier on the evening on everybody. Y'all take care. Good to see ya. <laughs>